Today we're gonna give you a brief overview of some of the most important Blender add-ons that recently came out. We're gonna start with Fluent Materializer. This add-on will help you to easily create procedural material and detailed textures for your 3D models with no UV maps required at all. It will also help you make and bake awesome custom materials using a polished procedural workflow all within Blender. Fluid Materializer adds a lot of procedural maps and masks to help create your materials by offering a big assortment of imperfections, grunge maps, different masks, fabrics, metals, liquids, patterns, and even shaders, and much more. You can easily create worn edges and ground their surface imperfections and much more through a node-based setup. The process is not only intuitive, but very easy to use. The add-on adds a pie menu in the shader editor to speed up the process, which is great. After you finish building your materials, you can bake them into PPR maps with only one click. You just select the model and hit bake. Design Magic this is another new add-on in the field of hard surface modeling for Blender. Design Magic from Chip Walters, the creator of KitOps Pro, is an addition to the KitOps Pro universe. It is basically a collection of well over 200 smartly designed KitOps inserts, which allows you to drag and drop a model directly onto your object, which is great. It works with KitOps Pro, of course. Basically, it takes advantage of its features and tools, in addition to adding its own, which is going to help you become even more productive. The way Design Magic handles the Boolean operations is simplifying the process of bringing them together in a non-destructive manner. This is a very good thing because you always have the option to go back and make changes without worrying too much about topology or any long-term damages or things that you cannot change. Cheap Alters also puts a lot of breakdown tutorials and workflow guides on his channel, so please do check those if you are interested in hard surface or industrial design in Blender. City Road Builder If you are interested in building roads in Blender, then this new add-on seems to be able to do that easily, whether it be straight or curved roads. Right now it is simple, but you can still be able to manipulate your roads and add stuff such as sidewalks, barriers, lights, in addition to adding roadside grass, trees, fences, and junctions. The Pro version comes with a junction system to add more advanced workflow that adds more realistic roads, such as the ability to add wetness, edit bump maps, and so many other things that will come sooner according to the developer. Vegetation version 4 We talked about this add-on a couple of months ago. Vegetation basically is an add-on that contains a wide library of diverse and varied plants, trees, shrubs, tropical plants, tree hedges, ornament plants, garden plants, and much more. Its assets and features will allow you to cover the design needs of four seasons of the year. And the assets are very accurate because they were created using the help of 3D scanning, photogrammetry, and classic modeling. Also, as expected, the use of HDRI and PBR textures will help in getting realistic results as well, faster, of course. With the new update, which is the focus of what we are going to talk about today, you are going to be offered 41 new assets. These assets are specifically designed for the outdoor ArcViz on garden creation. So if you are a designer or an architect who needs to have beautiful outdoor renders faster, this will be very helpful. Overall, the add-on offers 226 assets with 700 variations with different season aesthetics. You also have high quality PBR materials, animated trunks and leaves, also amazing moss for your trees. Next is B-Snow. A new tool for adding snow using Blender is called B-Snow. This add-on gives granular control and as a result, it makes creating winter scenes so much easier. You can use it to cover existing models with snow, whether it be landscapes, rocks, statues, or foliage. B-Snow can be useful from the initial step of creating snow all the way to the temperature control and physics or wind settings. Another exciting feature that hopefully will be coming soon is the paint system option. You can use it to replace snow by hands. This will allow you to paint patches for snow manually and you can do this on different models easily which is helpful. KitOps Pro Clarius Edition as we mentioned before, KitOps Pro is a huge Blender add-on that uses KitOps inserts to help you be creative and efficient, especially if you are an industrial designer or a hard surface modeler. You can add these inserts very easily using a well-designed system that is being used by thousands of artists and designers today. 
we recently had a new edition or a new update called the Clarice Edition. It adds new features that will speed up the workflow tremendously. This is the case because before we had to click the KPAC drop-down menu and look through for a KPAC that you want to select. The Clarice Edition simplifies the process as it adds all your recent and favorite KPACs to the top, I mean the top of the add-on panel with custom icons that you can change to whatever you like and this is great addition for people who use it daily or even people who want to make things happen as easily as possible. Next is Scattershot. This is a new add-on that will help you randomize and scatter textures in a way that is more efficient by giving you effects that look like scattered effects or being bombed. What the add-on does well is solving a problem for materials when looking up close due to the fact that it uses Voronoi scatter function which turns your image textures into a new node. You will get over the problem of being able to see repeated tiles. It can do this because it can control how every tile looks and this way it is able to break the obvious repetition that no one want to see when making believable textures. Furthermore, it is able to control obscuring the seams between each cell. This setup is surprisingly fast. Texture bombing works by manipulating the texture's vectors which means that it is not increasing memory usage or render time. Grid Breaker this add-on allows you to generate grid cells meshes with controllable randomized parameters. It is perfect for generating sci-fi panels and background details in addition to city landscapes and more. You can just open the add-on interface and create a new slot by clicking the plus button and it will automatically create a grid in the center of your scene. You can control the grid parameters within the add-on interface and you can control the size of the cell, the cell count, how many cuts and how it is distributed. In addition to that, you can control the height of the grid, the height of randomness and maximum variation and you can pick different seeds. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in uh, the next one.